This is weird. All right, thanks. What's up guys? It's Gene here from One Down Gene Up and today we are riding a 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 DCT. So that means there is no clutch and I am definitely getting used to it. The folks over at Iron Pony were kind enough to let me stop by and take a little test ride on this bike and I am super stoked. I was really excited from the moment Honda said that they were going to be launching this bike. Wow, this just goes from a stoplight. Yeah, so the Honda Rebel was actually what I wanted for my very first bike but I knew it probably wasn't gonna be the best choice. So I decided not to go with that. And my husband and I were looking to actually share a bike and it didn't fit him quite as well. And I was really excited when I heard about the 1100 because of the bigger engine size. Obviously that's a lot more power and something that you might be able to keep for a lot longer. I just like to ask the question like, could this be a great first bike that's also a long-term bike? Boy, that's fun. So right off the bat, I definitely am noticing all the extra power. This thing just picks up and it goes. You take off from a stoplight and you're gone and you don't even have to worry about shifting because there is no clutch. And that's definitely something to get used to, but it's kind of cool. I, I'm really having fun. I was pretty judgmental about anyone who would buy a DCT bike. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. Later on down the road there, I, I wouldn't be opposed to perhaps getting a DCT. When I first started riding, I was really nervous about the concept of shifting because I did not know how to drive a manual transmission at all, not on, a, not in a car, on a bike, whatever. So shifting was really pretty scary, but I knew that I didn't want to get a DCT bike. I just wanted to learn how to do it the old fashioned way, I guess you'd say. If you are a new rider and shifting is holding you back, I would highly recommend a DCT bike. And that just lays over in that corner very nicely. It's very intuitive. You can still feel and hear the bike shifting. It does shift completely on its own. So that's something a little bit different. I'm like going for the clutch and moving my left foot to shift up or down and I definitely do not need to. And I can hear it engine braking and everything. What a fun bike. So this one looks like it maxes out at 10,000 RPM, which is kind of high compared to what I'm used to riding, you know, the Bonneville. One other cool thing is the key is right down there, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, it does have the ignition on the left side, kind of like a traditional cruiser. This is a lot of fun. It's very lightweight. It, you do not feel the weight of the bike at all and it, it really takes corners well just from doing, you know, turns at stoplights and stuff so far. I can really tell that it does take these corners nicely. We'll try and get turned around in one of these neighborhoods up here. Yeah, that's so nice. It corners very, very nicely. Looks like this is a little cul-de-sac. Go down there. Get to test the slow speed maneuvers here. Oh wow. Yeah, this is great, guys. 
So back to my original question, could this be your first bike in a long-term bike? Because I know a lot of you are interested. I just tried to shift, shift down into first there with my foot. Um, I know a lot of you are interested in the Rebel because it's a very nice, very cool looking first bike that isn't necessarily something straight out of like a sport bike line. And this would hopefully travel with you a little bit longer and stick around in your garage. A lot of people get those Rebel 300s or 500s and then find themselves getting rid of them pretty quickly. But do I think this could be a first bike? Maybe. Right now I am noticing, like I said, I've been talking about the power that you feel when you pull on the throttle. I think that could be a little bit intimidating for some new riders. It is a little bit jerky at slower speeds, just like any other bike in first gear. But there are some other riding modes here. So let's see if we can slip into one of those. Let's see, we'll go to rain mode, I think. We're in rain mode. Yeah, so I just switched over to rain mode. Well, let's see what it feels like. So the power is definitely taken down in rain mode, like you would expect. If you were a rider who would be willing to learn on rain mode, I think that that could open possibilities up for you. I think that this bike is meant, f if it's your first bike, for more of a bit of a responsible rider. Because like I said, that, I mean, this is an 1100. The power is definitely there and it just kind of has a damper on it with the rain mode. So I think that if you were a responsible rider who was willing to learn, and leave your bike on rain mode for the first couple of months that this could be a really good option for you. However, if you know yourself and can trust yourself in that you know you're not going to be able to leave it on rain mode, I probably would not recommend this for a first rider, perhaps a returning rider, even an older first rider who again is, is very responsible and could keep the bike in rain mode. I just am expecting, you saw me move forward there, I'm expecting to shift and so I'm pushing my weight forward a little bit and then when I don't shift I'm like, oh gosh, kind of jerking around a little bit. Let's go ahead and see if we can move this over to sport mode. All right. Oop, I just honked. So now we're in sport mode and we're going to get on the highway up here and see how that goes. And if you just roll off the throttle on this thing, you do start slowing down and it starts engine braking for you. So it's pretty neat. Oh look, it's Elf. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this person so much. Guys, I love Elf. And this is making my day. And I'm so glad you're here to share this moment with me. Definitely noticing a bit more torque kind of get up and go in sport mode. So we're going to take a short little jaunt on the highway real quick. I would rev it here under the bridge, but I can't because I don't have a clutch. Intersection is always a little scary. But we got power because we're in sport mode. Look at this thing. It just goes. This is a lot of fun. I don't know how many times I've said that, but it's probably a lot. And that bump, you hit that bump in a car that I just went over and you feel it. The wind is not bad at all. I personally like having wind when I'm riding. I feel closer to the road and everything around me. And it's not too bad. Don't tell anybody what I did there. That goes. And I, I think, you know, based on that short little jaunt that you could probably do a little bit of touring on this thing. I think that it has adequate power and that you could push it for quite a long time. I'm really enjoying the cornering feel on this. 
Um, the lean angle is just really nice and it's not, I just tried to shift again, it's not intimidating. You know, some bikes you start leaning over and they feel pretty top heavy. It feels like the center of gravity is a bit lower here. I do love this DCT. There is no shifting. And you just get to go. These foot controls are a little bit squished for me. I am already starting to cramp out in my hip, my left hip. I would definitely want to get more forward controls if I were to own this bike. But yeah, I'm really feeling it in my hip flexor. The seat height is very approachable as well. I am 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and it's not an issue at all for me to flat foot this. I think somebody even a couple inches shorter than me would not have a problem at all flat footing this. I really like this red paint. It's like a nice Merlot color. What do you guys think? It's always fun to dream whenever you see new bikes announced and figure out, you know, what color you would get and what accessories you would get. And I remember when this one was first announced, ooh, it just did a little blip on its own. Did you guys hear that? That was neat. Anyways, when this one was first announced, I thought it would be cool to get the all black version. But looking at this red, I, I like it. I think I would get the red if I were to ever have it. There's something about driving by Burger King just makes you hungry. They always just pump out the smells. They get me. Ooh, and then I smell cookies. We're just like on food row right now. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the Honda Rebel. I know that this is kind of a controversial bike. You know, it's, it's not really yet found its place in the cruiser market but it definitely has that styling with all of the modern components is this a bike that you guys would perhaps get one day or maybe a second bike that you could keep in this stable it's been a really really fun bike if i could make a couple of changes to it mostly just the foot position i i would be open to getting it i don't know if i would get a dct or a standard I understand that it's a little bit difficult to switch back and forth between a DCT and a standard manual transmission bike. So if I had other bikes as well, I'd probably go for the manual transmission. But it's been a really fun bike to take around. I would definitely ride it again. Once again, a huge thank you to the folks at Iron Pony for letting me take this bike out. It's been a lot of fun to ride around on these motorcycles and you guys are always so supportive and open and just want to get people on bikes so if you are in the market for a motorcycle or even motorcycle gear and parts and you are in the columbus ohio area definitely stop by iron pony see brett he'll get you hooked up and get you a good deal thanks for tuning in I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope that wherever you're at, the weather is starting to warm up so you can get riding once again. Like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts and any questions you might have about my experience on this Honda Rebel. To wrap up, I don't think this would be a great beginner bike for most people, but if you do trust yourself to keep it in rain mode while you are learning, perhaps it could be. All right, guys, I'll catch you on Tuesday at 9 a.m.